I Bhuvan, you are welcome. As I mentioned before, my father was a physician, but so was my grandfather. I admire a lot is King Buddha Dasa, a Buddhist king who ruled Sri Lanka. He then helped me learn about a lot of things needed to build a foundation on this path. I studied in several government approved medical colleges. So, how rishis were very happy and lived a comfortable life without being held back many unwanted thoughts. We are trying to go on a similar journey, even though we know it's not easy. I also heard that you don't charge for any of your treatments that you provide for your patients. Why is that? The samsara journey has to go without asking our likes and dislikes. You can't bring this money you are earning right now after you did now to your next life. Not only that, King Buddha Das never collected any money from following this path. Jivaka Kaumar Bachana who was Lord Buddha's physician. Badanta Nagarjuna, Bela, Jatukarna, Vagbata, Atra, etc. They never tried to collect money from this path. You won't see me in a Rolls Royce, nor wearing a Rolex on my wrist anytime soon. I strongly believe in the importance of accessible healthcare for everyone. But an individual's life can never be compared to money. That was the Rishi's targets also. Can you also tell me more about Lanka Ayurveda as a whole? I'm sure many are curious about it. So can you explain? I truly appreciate you using the words Lanka Ayurvedic medicine. have some differences in our methods and beliefs. At the end of the day, we all have the same goal. I was a skilled physician from Sri Lanka was mentioned in the historical Indian Ayurveda text. His name was Pulastya. Pulastya. Rule I believe in and the rule many Buddhists believe is in that we mustn't kill any living being. They have a life with a responsibility to carry out just like us. As I choose not to use any living being to make medicine to most synthetic drugs. You may see many people taking nowadays. We highly emphasize on the balance of the mind, body and the spirit of a being. Helavadakam is not only about an individual's physical health, but also about a person's emotional and mental well-being as well. I think you got the point. Yes, I agree. Synthetic drugs are very dangerous for people nowadays if it's used in the wrong way. 